Ferrari films. We have yet another Olight review. This is more of an unboxing. They sent me the Olight Odin Mini. This is a marketed as a tactical flashlight. Now this channel is more about hunting. So we're going to find a way to make this flashlight work for nighttime hunting. But what makes it a tactical flashlight is the M-Lock mounting system which mounts onto your AR platform tactical rifles. So we're going to do an unboxing and then we're going to go out and shine this a little bit here at night and just do a brief overview, some thoughts and see what this flashlight is all about. Here we have another Olight product that was just sent to me. It is the Olight Odin Mini. Uh, I see it is a, it's advertised as a tactical flashlight. It says here that it has the M-Lock system, which mounts to most uh, AR platforms or any tactical firearms. As you know, this is a hunting channel, so we're going to see if this can be used in any way for hunting. The M-Lock does not work for hunting on an outdoor hunting rifle, so we will do another video to see if we can create some kind of mechanism to put this flashlight on. But this is right now, this is an unboxing of this product. I'm going to take a look at it quickly, give you my first initial thoughts. We're going to give it up a nice full charge. And then we'll step outside tonight, play with it a bit out here in the bush and see what this flashlight's capable of. So let's get into it. Oh, ooh, nice box. Okay, here we go. Just a little leaflet showing you how to operate the flashlight that aside. Take out the light itself. Mm. Feels nice. Nice and smooth. It's, it doesn't have the, the feel of the uh, S1 on, S1R Vuitton 2 that I reviewed. It's a very smooth, smooth light. Uh, there's the M-Lock system there. Let's see what else is in the box. Okay, this is the touchpad. It mounts onto the firearm. Very tactile press. That's quite nice. So that is just the holder to hold this touchpad. And that screws in on the back of your flashlight. The Olight setup manual. Seems to give detailed instructions on how to set it up, charging, putting the M-Lock system on. So that looks all good. Let's just open this last little box. Charging cable, magnetic again as usual. And here you have your Allen key and screws, which is for the M-Lock mounting system. Here we've got the M-Lock mount. Uh, as I said, I do not have a tactical rifle or an AR platform firearm with a Picatinny rail system or an M-Lock system, so this I'm not going to be using at the moment. So we can put that one side. And as per usual, you can see the magnetic charging of the Olight. It's a little bit heavier than I thought it would be, but it feels quite good. Um, let's open this up. Oh, well, there's a little tab. So the battery can make a full connection. So there should be some juice in this. Yeah, there she's on. a little bit of a vibrate when you press it in if you if you just hold it it vibrates uh, I'll, I'll have to read through the instruction manual but it's 
seems pretty bright. The literature says that it's got a 240 meter throw and a maximum of 1250 lumens. Um, here it says your high is 1250, 900, 700 and 200 lumens. Your battery life is 6 Pretty sure that's minutes. Six minutes at 12:50, 11 minutes at 900 lumens, 39 minutes at 700, and 14 minutes at 200. 240 meter throw, 1.5 meter drop impact, IPX8 waterproof, which is pretty good, pretty standard for for Olight. Unboxing this is always like unboxing an Apple product. Very excited to get the packaging open. So you get quite a quite a bit. You've got your mounting system, you've got your light, you've got your pressure pad. Uh, we can try that now. And your magnetic. Oh, that's solidly magnetic too. That's very nice. I was not expecting that. Okay, that's cool. <clears throat> so you just screw it in, and then. So far, pretty impressed. Everything feels of the highest build quality. You get a lot of little screws and attachments. Uh, for hunting, I'm not sure how this will work. It'll have to be for night hunting, but we will have to fabricate or find a third party uh, application to mount this light onto a hunting firearm. But that's for a future video. Stay tuned, we'll be back shortly. Okay, so here I am in my room in the Limpopo Valley. As you can see, luxury accommodations up here. We have the blue light light. I'm just going to show you in a room, seeing as this is a tactical light, the, uh, the capabilities of, let's call it a room clearing or anything tactical wise, which should be short distance. Um, this is the 1200 lumens. Remember, this battery does have a full charge. Extremely bright at short distance. I'm now going to switch off the lights and we're going to do the same thing again. Okay, it's just a bathroom light that's on, but no matter. That is extremely bright. <clears throat> and as the battery diminishes, it goes from 1250, 900, 700, 400, 200 lumens, and then stays on 200 lumens for up to five hours. So let's just go outside quickly in the dark. Okay, so here we are outside my chalet. I'm gonna turn the light on. Those trees that you can see there are about, I would say 100 meters. Um, this tree here, we're probably looking closer to 30 meters. But for our outside context, let's look at the vehicles out there. 100%. I mean, you're not looking at something to throw a huge distance out here. This is a tactical light. I think for hunting, if we can get this thing mounted to a, a hunting rifle, 100%. We've got something good. We've got something golden. So I think Olight, fantastic job. You built another awesome product. I'm extremely happy. Very impressed. Stay tuned, we'll have a full review on mounting this for hunting applications uh, sometime in the near future. Please check out the Olight website. They have a flash sale from the 17th to the 19th of June, starting 10 a.m. until 3 a.m. June 19th. So make sure to check out their website. Any products that you do end up purchasing, if you purchase, Use the discount code African Safari Films for 10% discount. And please don't forget, go to our YouTube channel African Safari Films and make sure you subscribe for any future content.